In this video let's discuss how do we actually add attachments to this robot and how do we transfer power from the motors to these attachments. In some of the next videos we will of course build specific examples for attachments but let's start from something very simple. We have one medium motor and with this one medium motor we rotate different wheels. What we are doing is we rotate this wheel here. We also rotate two wheels that are positioned right here. How do we do this? Now, um, if you take a closer look here or on the building instructions of this robot, you can see that there is a system of gears involved. And this system of gears do the following things. If you need to lift something heavy, so you need more torque and more power, you must add the attachment to this wheel here. And you have this black wheel and you also have a grey wheel, so you can choose where to add the attachment and how to transfer power from the attachment. If you need uh, some lever to be activated very quickly and some lever that does not require any heavy lifting or much uh, power and torque and uh, it will require more speed, you can just add, that, add the attachments right here. And uh, in this way, with the same motor, you have different different speeds of the attachments. Also, if you need to rotate one attachment forward and another backward, this happens with these two wheels here. They, uh, they rotate forward and backward. And you also have one more wheel right here that uh, that is directly connected to the motor, so it... Um, it actually does not uh, does not transfer the power through a system of gears, but is actually connected to the motor. So we have one that is connected to the motor through a gear system, and that has probably the same uh, the same speed as the motor. Two that has uh, that have faster speed, and one again that is connected to the same axle of the motor. So you have a number of options of where would you like to add an attachment. You can have uh, an overall of 4 attachments that you can control in the same time. And that makes the robot very interesting. What you should do is uh, try to implement different uh, frames for for pinless attachments that you can add just above the robot and from there transfer the power from the attachment to the from the motor to the attachment. <laughs>